What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's ProPJ and welcome back to reading your comments. Um, I felt like we haven't done one of these in a while so I just wanted to do one. The question that I'm talking about today is whether or not I would consider going back into music production or music producing. Oh boy, this is a fun topic. Now I've spoken at lengths about the two albums that I've worked on uh, previously. So for those that don't know, just a quick recap. Um, I was approached in 2014 to do uh, an album for a band over in the US called The Capital. So I went off and did two albums with them. Uh, the first album was We Are and the second album was Born Again, which I eventually won an award for. And while I enjoyed the process of doing music and becoming kind of engulfed in that world, I don't know whether it's something I would jump back into straight away just because of the amount of time and effort and the amount of brain damage that it can cause. <laughs> now, I've deleted a lot of stuff that was said on social media in the past, but making those two albums was not just a smooth sailing thing. It, it actually was quite difficult. The difficult part for me was there was somebody in the band that clearly did not want me to be there and did not want me to have any kind of say in what the albums were going to be. And that kind of made life very difficult. Very difficult. Now, I'm, I'm not here to kind of uh, shit talk on anyone and stuff, and I am somewhat proud of what we did. I feel like uh, there were things from the first album I would love to go back and do again, just because I don't feel like I did a lot of things right on that first album. The second album I'm very proud of. I think, I think musically it was a stronger album and um, there's a lot of different things that make that album very special and personal to me. But um, I feel like on that second album we really, we really did a good job. As I said, somebody did kind of make the entire process a little bit difficult, a little bit challenging. Um, this would be anything from refusing to show up to recording sessions or refusing to play the guitar or sing on some days. So that always made for an interesting time. Now, me saying that I'm not open to it now, I have not 100% closed the door on returning to music production. I would say we're about 90% closed with the door, but there is 10% of the door still open. If the right project were to come along, if something piqued my interest enough, I think I would consider going back, but it would need to be a very special project um, because I don't know, I I enjoy what I'm doing now in terms of YouTubing, I'm enjoying the job that I have outside of YouTube, I'm enjoying a lot of things, so it's for me to kind of jump back into that world, I it would take something quite special to bring me back into the mix, into that world. I don't think I'll ever be working again with anyone from the capital. Um, because they broke up as a band and the two remaining people stopped touring so that band's pretty much finished but I feel like if the right project were to present itself to me I would consider it um, whether or not I would do it I don't know so to answer the question of would I ever jump back into music production maybe I'm going to leave this episode here of reading your comments. I'm sorry that it's a short episode, but I do like to keep these like one question things going on that we've got. Um, and I know that some people are interested in that aspect of my past and some people probably don't give a shit or don't hear, haven't heard any of the albums, so probably don't care. But for those of you that are interested in that aspect of my life, I am appreciative that 
I still get questions about it all the time. I still get emails about it all the time. Um, and that is very special to me. Especially that second album and in particular a couple of songs that, uh, that my buddy Daniel played on. I, those emails about those songs I really do enjoy. Um, so thank you to anyone that's, uh, gone out and bought the albums or has listened to the albums online or has, uh, just supported the band or supported what I've been doing because of the albums here on YouTube or on social media in general. I'm incredibly appreciative. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys being here as always. And I'll see you tomorrow with a new video. Bye guys. I'm yet to find, oh, but now I'm sure I'm not a young